I guess it um, felt exactly uh, like it was. Six for 49 from the field. Um, so obviously offensively, we really, really struggled tonight. I thought that um, two things, I thought our defense actually kept us in the game a long time, probably longer than it should have been. They only scored, I think, 25 points at half. I was uh, pleasantly surprised that we still had a chance uh, going into the second half because we played that poorly offensively. And I thought our defense did as good a job as it can without scoring to give you a little excitement to keep us somewhat in the game as long as possible. But uh, you know, I credit New Hampshire too. Um, you know, as, as poorly as we shot the ball, I mean, there was plenty of good reasons. I mean, they play good defense. They play hard, tough, physical, half-court defense. Uh, they did a great job tonight. And um, it was obviously one of our better offensive nights. But the one thing I was pleased about is that our defense played well enough and hard enough for long enough in the game to at least give us a chance uh, to hopefully get the offense to turn around. It just never did. So I think one philosophy is to uh, change our lineup to adjust to them or uh, try and use our advantages and have them adjust to us. Uh, I don't have any 6'10 guys to go to on the bench. Um, so what we've done in the past is just expose them uh, on the perimeter. Uh, and when you're shooting the ball well, Tyler Livingston didn't have any open looks. He got in foul trouble. He wasn't able to get going from the perimeter. So if you're not able to do that and they're bigger and stronger down, down below, then the game's not going to favor you in any any way but that's why it's even more important for us with our inside guys to be able to get away from the basket to shoot the ball well to spread the floor and use our quickness and our speed and if we're not doing that then uh, you know we're getting outsized we're getting out rebounded uh, we're losing at both ends